Alright, yo, what's up guys? Today we are back with another Roblox Pet Simulator X video for you guys. And today I'm going to be doing a tier list for you guys of the best enchants for your pets. I've been looking at my comments, I've been looking at live streams and all of that stuff. And the top question is always what is the best enchant for my pets? Is super teamwork good? What enchant should I go for? Should I enchant normal pets with my gems? I'm going to be going through all of that with you guys today and letting you know what the best ones you should go for to either destroy the chest as fast as possible or get the most fancy coins in the game. But yeah, as you can see right now, I've got 1.5 billion, which I'm going to be spending to try and get a full team of these dragons. As you can see, I only need a few more until I have a full team. I'm almost halfway. I'm around halfway. As you can see, I have seven right now. And I can equip 15 pets. But yeah, basically, my top tips or the tier list for the best enchants, we're going to start off with the very worst enchant of them all. And we're going to work our way up to the best one. This is obviously my opinion. This isn't like confirmed to be the best enchant. This is what I think is the best enchant if you want to go for coins and like speed on breaking the chests. So, if you want to know how to do all of those, then stay tuned. But yeah, the very worst enchant, in my opinion, is agility. I'm sure almost every person watching this video will agree with me that agility is the worst enchant. It is awful. All it does is make your pets move faster. But as you can see, even if I'm moving with my hoverboard, my pets still keep up with me. So, like, why would you even need that enchantment? It doesn't help you at all. It doesn't get you more money. It doesn't get you on the leaderboard. So, there's literally no point in having it. And, um, yeah, it's basically the worst enchant of them all. Next up is the gifts enchant. This is going to be the next worst enchant that I would say. I don't even know what this enchant does it. I think it makes it so you get more or it's easier to break the gifts. But, like, it's basically like Chess Breaker with the gifts enchant. It's pretty useless because there's no, like, big gift that you can break. Like, with the big chest, it makes it more useful to have Chess Breaker. But with gifts, they're just lying on the floor and they barely give you any coins. So, like, why would you get gifts if you're going to be breaking a chest it just doesn't make sense so that's my next thing that i wanted to say do not go for gifts because you're not going to be afking a huge gift you're going to be afking a huge chest so if they ever added a huge gift that would make more sense but yeah until then definitely do not go for the gifts enchant okay third third worst enchant is going to be the coins enchant you may be surprised at this but it actually is one of the worst enchants now it wasn't at first but now it's one of the worst enchants because we have the fancy world there is literally no point in having normal coins because the pets from the normal world are way 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 worse than the pets from the fancy world so there's literally no point in getting coins anymore unless there was like an event or something or something like that where you had to get normal coins for it so yeah i definitely wouldn't recommend then going for the normal coins enchant because you don't get coins from the fancy world you only get fancy coins and there's a separate enchant for that so unless you just want to reach the coin cap and you know flex i wouldn't go for that enchant because it's pretty useless Next up is going to be the diamonds enchant. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's the diamonds enchant. When you have it, it gives you more diamonds. Diamonds are helpful, but they're, t they're easy to get. You don't need to spend them on much. You, you use the pet enchanting area. As you can see, if we go to the enchanted forest, there is the enchanting pets area. And this costs 10,000 to enchant a pet. So it's not that expensive. And 
and the fusing machine it only costs 2.5k to fuse pets so it's super duper cheap to do all of those maybe have one pet with diamonds on if you really want to get a lot of diamonds but even without diamond enchants i can get like 2 million diamonds overnight so it doesn't really help you at all and it's pretty useless so unless you want to have the most diamonds in the game then uh, i wouldn't go for that enchant but if they do ever add a diamonds leaderboard then that would actually be pretty cool if they do add a diamonds leaderboard and you want to go on that then obviously get that enchant but until then diamonds it's pretty useless next is going to be one of the new unique enchants the new unique enchant being the glittering enchant this is the one that spawns diamonds randomly i believe it is on one of my pets if i wait a second diamonds should just spawn above my head any second now because what this enchant does is it basically makes it so randomly diamonds will spawn at your player no matter if you're breaking anything or if you're getting coins or farming diamonds will just constantly randomly be spawned above your head and as you can see if i go on my pets right here i believe one of these actually does have glittering on it unless i don't have it equipped anymore okay i don't think i have it anymore i probably did replace the enchant last night but there is an enchant that makes coins randomly spawn above your head called glittering which is sort of useful but it only gives you like 10 diamonds every time so it is pretty useless at the same time so i probably would not go for that enchant next is the strength enchant that one is basically gonna make your pets more op as you can see this guy is 1.68 million. If I had the strength enchant, there is strength 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So each level of the enchant gives you more strength on your pet, all the way up to 100% more damage, which is definitely very helpful, but there is a way, way, way better enchant that will also do the exact same thing, but to all your pets, which we will get into at the end of the video because it is actually the best enchant in the game. Next is going to be another unique enchant, another one of the new unique enchants, which is the magnet enchant. Basically, what this is, is say I was destroying this chest right here, and then I teleported to the fancy shop. As you can see, I can't pick up any of the orbs because my orbs reach isn't far enough. As you can see, if I teleport back here, then the orbs will all still be on the floor here. Basically... If you have magnet on a pet, it would automatically pick up the orbs for you no matter where you are on the map. So say I had orbs on every pet, I'm pretty sure every orb that came off the chest would be put into my inventory straight away. Which would be pretty cool, but most of the time you're just chilling here AFK at the chest anyway. So it isn't really that useful unless you want to like AFK while opening eggs or something. But again, your pets will destroy the chest by then. So the magnet achievement or enchantment, sorry, is not really that helpful. So I probably wouldn't go for that one either. Next is a, another unique enchant. In fact, I believe it's the last unique enchant being the royalty enchant. This one is probably the best unique out of them all. I believe it gives you 100% more coins, strength, and diamonds. I believe it is that. If it isn't, then I'm sorry. I think I've had the achievement once on one of my pets, but I believe it's normal coins, strength, and diamonds. Maybe agility as well but on all three of those enchants it does a hundred percent more so because it has coins on it that isn't helpful the strength is helpful but the best enchant will overpower that anyway and then the last one which is coins strength and i believe it's either agility i think it might be agility because Again, that one's self-explanatory. Agility is awful. It doesn't help at all. It just makes your pets move faster. So the royalty enchant... Yes, it is good. If you get royalty mixed in with another enchant, say you got royalty mixed in with like super teamwork, that would be crazy. Or with fancy coins, then that'd be really, really good. But other than that, I probably wouldn't go for that achievement or that enchantment. I keep saying achievements. 
Um, next up is gonna be the chest breaker, which is one of the best ones. It's actually, it's actually the th fourth best one in my opinion. As you can see, this right here is a chest. It's got the padlock. It's the same shape as a chest and you can destroy it. But if you have the chest breaker achievement, you do more damage to chests. And I believe the chest breaker achievement or enchantment goes all the way up to chest breaker three so chest breaker one i think is 50 percent more damage two is 100 percent, and three is 150 percent so if you had a full team of chest breaker threes it would be way 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 faster to destroy the chest but again the best enchant in my opinion is obviously going to be better than that so that's why i put it on here on the list because it is really good but it's not the best, so I probably wouldn't go for it if I was you. Alright, the third best achievement is Fantasy Coins. This is not actually the best achievement. Fantasy Coins is a good achievement, but we're going to be getting new worlds soon, such as the high-tech world, the snow world, all of those worlds. So, as soon as those worlds come out, if you have loads of Fantasy Coin achieve enchantments, then you're basically going to get nowhere, because if you have Fantasy Coins enchantments, that's like when this update came out having coins on all of your pets it's basically useless so that's why i wouldn't go for a full team of fancy coin pets i'd probably go for a couple as you can see i have a couple fancy coin pets i think i have two or three and that is why i won't go for a full team because even though it will help me now as soon as a new well gets added then it will ruin my team because there'll be a new enchantment for new coin types so it will basically be be useless just like normal coins is now and the second to last best enchantment is the teamwork enchantment the teamwork enchantment is basically like super teamwork but worse it's basically teamwork than super teamwork but teamwork does 1.15 percent more damage so basically it'll do 1.15 times damage to your pet sorry it's not percent it's 1.15 times damage and it does stack so say you add 15 pets with teamwork on it would do 1.15 1.15 all the way up to however many pets you can equip so teamwork is a really good enchantment but it's not the best because the best enchantment is super teamwork as you can tell by the thumbnail it is super teamwork of course super teamwork is just god tier it does 1.3 times damage on all your pets and with a full team that's going to be crazy i believe if you have super teamwork on every single pet these samurai dragons will equal out to be seven million damage that's how op super teamwork is when you have it stacked on every pet super teamwork and teamwork do stack so say you have one two three four five it doesn't matter you're gonna be getting the multipliers all put together anyway so that is my tier list for all of the pet enchants super teamwork is 100 the best pet enchant and it does stack so that makes it even better because if you have 15 pets with it on it's going to be like five to six times all of your pets so you're going to be doing around seven million damage for each pet which will destroy the chest in around two or three seconds which is crazy because then you'll be able to get billions of fancy coins and that is my tier list complete thank you guys all so much for watching today's video let me know if you guys do agree with my tier list or if you disagree this was quite a long video actually i didn't expect it to take this long but those are all the achievements and or not achievements all of the enchantments and the list i would put them in from worst to best so let me know if you guys do agree with me if you do then yo that's pretty pog but if you don't then oh well you guys can let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are on these enchantments but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching today's video i hope you guys do enjoy if you did make sure to drop a fat like subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys